cartoon hello everybody welcome back to my channel today we'll discuss about another human eye defect called s plus biopia like myopia and hypermetropia plus biopia is also a eye disease so let me explain about it sometimes the power of accommodation of eye usually decreases like when we age the accommodation of the eye de usually decreases in this case for most people it's difficult to see the near sight near by objects and even distinctly objects without corrective eye glasses this defect is called presbyopia it's caused when when near by objects and distance objects cannot be seen sometimes some people face even hypermetropia and myopia both eye defects for them there is a special type of glass special type of lens with convex and concave lens with this they can able to see the nearby as well as the far objects also these days it's possible to correct the refractive defects with contact lens lenses or the surgical interventions so that's it for this video so thank you for this for watching this video please subscribe to my channel hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we will under eye diseases today we learn what is a cataract so basically cataract occurs in all ages cataract occurs due to the milky of milky islands so the relation between both is that as we go older and older the lens become more cloudy and cloudy due to that a blur image is formed on the retina so now cataract uh, can be curable in many ways but first of all let's see what are the effects of cataract due to cataract a blur image will be formed on the retina through which we cannot see now you may have a question what is retina and lens so don't worry i'll explain so as you can see in this eye diagram this portion is known as the retina and this transparent layer, blue color thing is called the lens so now what happens during the cataract is that the lens contains some small types of proteins so during old ages these proteins clump together to form uh, and make the lens cloudy due to which a blood image is formed on this retina and thus we are unable to see so thank you for watching this video hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we will learn about how is a cataract curable so first of all in the previous video we had learned what is a cataract and what are its effects in this video we learn how is it curable so let's begin cataract as you know cataract is an eye disease which is caused due to the clumping of protein so how is it curable first it can be curable through a eye surgery or which is not called as the cataract eye surgery or 
artificial lens that are trans are transplanted in front of our eyelids. So, through these two ways, we can reduce, we can cure the disease called cataract. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe this video, this channel. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn about what is xeroptalmia. So basically, xeroptalmia is an eye disease. Xeroptalmia is caused due to the dryness of cornea and conjunctiva. In xeroptalmia, basically, as we know, the function of conjunctiva is to is to moisturize the moisturize the inner parts of the eye with tears and mucus. If the conjunctiva fails to produce tears, then this case called xeroptalmia comes into picture. Due to this is all due to the deficiency of vitamin A. So, xeroptalmia can be curable when we eat vitamin A rich foods. And now, xeroptalmia, if it is uncurable, then it can automatically lead to blindness due to and corneal damage also. So, xeroptalmia can be curable by eating more vitamin A rich food. So, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and there will be many more new videos in our channel. So, thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn about about what is nyctalopia. So nyctalopia is one visual impairment which is nothing but poor vision in poor vision in the in the dark. And dimly light, dimly lighted environments. So basically, people with nyctalopia would basically face very poor vision in dark areas and even dimly lighted areas. Even nyctalopia is also a disorder which occurs due to the deficiency of vitamin A. So basically, nyctalopia or night blindness is most likely, likely to occur in people who have nearsightedness, who have cataract and etc. So, Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and you will learn more about or you will learn more about science in my YouTube channel. So, thank you.